Luigi, would you care for some tea? First things first. Sure, thank you. Right. This is a uh, English breakfast tea. I hope that's okay. It's okay. I was living in Leeds. Oh, really? Yeah, I started my postdoc uh, in Leeds. Oh, really? That's not far many from years from ago. Uh... 1991 with uh, Keith Bardo. Oh, okay. What was what was your, the focus of your research back then? Uh, I started to make uh, multidimensional chronography with him. So at that time we did the LCGC coupling. Oh, okay. So and uh, also I'm very happy because after many years, uh, is this time is coming to Riva. Oh, okay. And so that's great. It's part of uh, the honorary board. Ah, oh, I see. So he will be here. Great. So yeah, we are here in uh, Riva del Garda. So. Um, you took over uh, the Riva show maybe two years ago in 2012, exactly. is that right? Yeah. And you took on uh, Pat Sandra's legacy. So how how does that feel that now that now you're the you're the Riva man? Oh well, it's uh, I mean I feel good and uh, honestly I must thank Pat for giving me this opportunity. So after as you know many years yeah. of uh, this conference uh, in Riva del Garda. Uh, he decided to give me this toy. Right. So I'm really appreciated that. Uh, I mean, it was the first year. So in 2012, we did. Uh, uh, he was co-chairman with okay. me, and uh, this time uh, he's still helping me. So after you know, so many years. That's great that uh, you've still got someone to to help you with the. Yeah. And you said this this one is is been particularly successful. You're expecting quite a quite a big crowd, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I think there are two different ways what you are looking inside and outside. So if you look from outside, I must say that this is a, a very big success. So we have a lot of participants. Oh. Uh, we increase the number of the sponsors and I must thank all the sponsors, sure. uh, not only in the quantity, but also because they decided to upgrade their sponsorship. Oh, great. Uh, just to give you an example, uh, for example, we was only uh, coming uh, for the exhibition. Now they upgrade to bronze or to silver sponsorship, and uh, so I think it's uh, it was very hard work, uh, but for sure it would be a success. Uh, and uh, you know, this is the uh, the way how the Riva Symposium was uh, uh, set up in the last year. So. Yeah. Uh, one example of that is that the conference is well recognized as a RIVA conference and not the International Symposium on Capillary Chromatography. Sure, you were saying that earlier, that it's, it's gained a, a reputation in its own right with the, the name exactly. of the, the place that it's, that it's yeah, located yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think that is uh, uh, coming from uh, the place. The yeah. RIVA is a beautiful well, it, place. And it's, and it's beautiful weather and, here today. Uh, we hope that we'll continue this weather. So. And uh, also it's uh, made by the scientific uh, uh, program, but also the, uh, um, the part of this conference is also the social program. This yeah. is uh, very important. So we will have uh, a different... Uh, we started today with the short course on comprehensive GC. And uh, so we have a cocktail uh, this night and tomorrow we have the official opening of the Comprehensive GC conference uh, and then we have uh, the um, welcome cocktail at the conference site that is offered by Dani and then we have, uh, uh, as usual, the concert from Perkin Elmer, the cocktail after offered by Gessel. We have the open bar, uh, very famous, that is made in the, in the center of Riva. It's an open bar, so you can drink whatever right. you want I'll, till I'll midnight. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we have also the farewell cocktail in, um, uh, in the last day, offered by Waters. And uh, uh, as in the last two years, uh, 2012, we have uh, uh, the Shimazu invited the speaker dinner at the Hotel du Lac. Okay. And uh, so wow. it's uh, full of this. Uh, and I forgot also the wine and cheese on the lake offered by Agilent. So it's a uh, full well, there's a full There's a full on program yeah, for sure yeah, from yeah. a social but point of view. I think the participants really appreciate that because you are, you know, exchanging ideas, speaking about your work, sure. a different uh, approach you have uh, your work yeah. uh, coming from a company or from a university, so from academia. Well, I think the social mixing is a very yeah, important yeah, part yeah. of all of these shows. It's a scientific social uh, yeah, part. Yeah, exactly. 
And, and so going back to the, the scientific program, what, what are the sort of highlights for you? What are you, what are you looking uh, for? Well, you know, this conference uh, is the conference on capillary chromatography. And, uh, you know, during the years we have a little change, you know. I think today, uh, this year, we are more uh, going to uh, the detector part okay. of the separation science. So we have a lot of news uh, regarding the coupling of mass spectrometry. So okay. as, as you know, in, during the last year, you know, the many labs, they bought a single quad, they went to the triple quad. Sure. Now we are going to high resolution, so faster uh, MS approach. So I think this more emphasis uh, to the capillary coupling to mass spectrometry okay. and other spectroscopic technique. So the program is really full of this news about uh, this kind of coupling. Okay, that sounds very interesting. So going back to your own work, what, what, what's your current main focus from your side? Oh well, it's side? Uh, my lab at the, at the Messina University. Uh, I must say this is uh, quite a big lab. We have, I have actually around 40 people working with me right. and uh, originally we, uh, I was associate professor of food chemistry and then I moved to full professor of analytical chemistry but right. in my lab is mostly based still now, till now uh, on food based analysis sure. and uh, as I said to you before I started with the coupling technique yeah. so LC, 2GC, GC, GC, LC, LC, and then we move to comprehensive uh, chromatography. Sure. So we are mostly based on uh, advanced chromatography technique, mostly uh, multidimensional technique. Okay, Apply, mainly gas chromatography or liquid? Uh, must say 50-50. Okay. Now we are also starting with some uh, SFC work. Okay. Uh, so we are almost all the kind uh, all the kind of coupling uh, with the mass spectrometry. We are doing also GCIR, uh, GCGC, LCLC, sure. and also uh, LCGC, and now we are doing SFC, SFC. Uh, okay, so you're covering the full, full yeah, spectrum of yeah. separation. And we are on, not only covering food, actually, but we are working with the federal, with other stuff as sure. analytical food, analytical uh, chemistry professor. Now I'm also doing not only food, Sure. And you mentioned earlier you, 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 you're going to start a new project funded by the yeah, European Commission. Yeah, actually we have uh, uh, two projects. Uh, one is a very big project where I'm the Italian coordinator. Uh, it's based on nutraceuticals. Yeah. And uh, that uh, is going to finish uh, next year in May. And uh, we have some other universities, some small medium enterprise together with the project. And for this reason, we buy the, a lot of new instruments. Sure. And uh, we, are start, we started this year another big uh, project of 22 million. Wow. This is on, uh, based mainly on food analysis. Okay. And uh, it's not pure research, but after we finish the project, the group of Messina will offer some kind of uh, analysis uh, mainly on food. For example, one of that is we will be focused on dioxin analysis. Okay. We have not only chromatography technique, we buy the NMR at 500 megahertz, and we have the high mobility MS from water so coupled to uh, SFC, so with the new UPC square. So what's, what's the main objective of that? The main object of that is offering high level advanced technique for discovering contaminants and not only contaminants, but also some uh, food components that have uh, biological activity, so they are okay. good for the human health. So that slides into the nutraceutical exactly. side. So okay. it's very close to the nutraceuticals, as you say, uh, as you know, that that is to find something that is uh, healthy for uh, the human. Well, this is the big push in food now, is yeah, that everything exactly. we eat has, So looking has, has for some food that is not only a food, but also you are taking the advantage of molecules that have the biological activities. Sure. Well, that sounds really interesting. Um, one, maybe we'll, we'll, one final question. Um, what's the big, what do you think is the big issue then in, in, in food analysis right now? What's What's the one thing you would like to change about, well, about the world of food, if, if you could? Yeah, you know, uh, probably you remember we did a, an, uh, an article for the separation 
uh, for the analytical scientists, we focus on uh, mineral oil content yeah. in baby food, but not only baby food, now we are also working with uh, pasta or rice sample okay. where you transfer from the box of the pasta, of the rice, uh, the, the mineral oil through the pasta or through the, the rice. Right. So that is very interesting because it's, it seems like a, a green cremacy because you are using the cardboard recycled. So yeah. that means it is green, but the ink that is present in the cardboard that is used is uh, containing uh, mineral oil. Right. And that is transferred to the pasta. To, and as you know, we did this article also in baby food. Yeah. And so for, a baby that the weight of the body is not so big as a normal person, sure, yeah. uh, that the quantity they took with that, it's a, a big problem. And not only, uh, so we differentiate from uh, linear hydrocarbons, so it's, uh, uh, but also the, the aromatic part, this yeah. is very, so I think the last trend in food analysis is to look more in contaminants, mainly because we are importing food also in, from other countries. Right, the, the, the supply chain is getting wider and wider. Exactly. Uh, another issue that was brought up uh, by some other, other folks for us was um, the idea of complex mixtures of, of trace contaminants too exactly. and, and how they interact together. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So there's still a lot going on in food. Yeah, yeah. Us, I mean, sure. you, you know, food, it's, uh, I mean, uh, it's fascinating because it's a very complex mixture, but in the same time, uh, you don't have only the nutrients, but also you have a lot of other stuff that is sure. contaminants. Yeah. And it's very difficult to, to uh, have a quantitative analysis of that because you have a forest of peaks yeah. coming from the nutrients. Yeah, yeah. And so going to the very low level, you need very advanced uh, separation science techniques because I believe, I don't believe that you can solve with the uh, direct MS injection. Well, this was the, of, yeah, this uh, is another, so another issue that's come up. Separation exactly. science is still hugely important. Uh, for sure. Yep. I mean, and I give you an example. If you can use an MS, that is fine when you analyze a food sample, but you still need the separation before the MS yeah. because you, uh, you need to purify or uh, for going to very low trace level. Sure. So I think the it's a perfect marriage, uh, chromatography with spectroscopy, sure. in this case with MS. Okay, so thank you so much for your time today, Luigi. I know you're, you're, you're very busy and you've got a lot to do, so we'll no, let you get back to organizing the, the conference and no doubt we'll, we'll have yeah. another chat uh, later on this week. So yeah. thank, thank you very much. much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers.